Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you a bunch of wide calf boots and you can see which ones have fit, which ones don't fit. I will leave my measurements and such below in the description so you can, um, so you can see whether or not you're the same measurements or not. So you see if you have the same type of results that I do. But I did a search recently on YouTube trying to find people who have done try-ons for wide calf boots. My calves are always wide calf. It doesn't matter what size I am. Even when I was in high school and much smaller, I still couldn't fit into the knee-high boots, like the regular size that they would sell in any of the stores. So <laughs> I am super happy now that they have like a whole online uh, shopping network in which you can buy some wide calf. I've even seen extra wide calf. And so I'm gonna show you some of the stuff I found today. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a pair that didn't work for me. Even though these were wide calf, I could not zip them up. I do like the look of these. They were kind of more edgy. They have a lot more buckles. And I had high hopes because actually the material that's around the calf is very stretchy. It's not all like a fake leather like some of the other ones are. This one actually had like kind of like a sock type material that was around the calf. So um, when I was searching online, I was thinking, oh, okay, like no matter what, these will work because they'll be stretchy at the top. And needless to say, they didn't work out at all. Um, I couldn't zip them up whatsoever, even though they had some stretch to them. So obviously these were a fail, but if you have smaller calves than I do, then you might be able to make these work. They were really cute and very comfortable. So the next ones are my absolute favorite and I actually did end up keeping these. I could easily zip them up. I wasn't trying to like smoosh anything in and I love the look of them. They have a heel that is very easy to walk in but still gives you that very like sexy vibe. They're nice enough to wear, you know, to, like in fancier outfits, but casual, like you could, you know, wear them, dress them down to be more casual. I just absolutely love these boots. And so yes, I did end up keep keeping these. It's hard for me to find some that just fit so well. And so when that happens, I just buy them. <laughs> you can't say no. The next pair are the only pair that I got in a darker brown instead of a black. Typically, my wardrobe is black. Um, I do have some lighter colored uh, like booties and such, but uh, I wanted to try this one. And I do actually really like the color and I think it went really well even with what I was wearing when I did this try on. Uh, and I would have kept these except for the fact that even though I could zip them up, they were really tight. Like it was a struggle to get the zip up. And then at the top, it's almost like I had a muffin top at the top of the, I don't know, like near my knee. I don't know. It was, it was a little bit of weirdness. Um, overall, if I could have easily zipped it up, maybe I should go back and see if they have like an extra, extra wide or something. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Because these, even though they have a heel, were basically because they have a platform and then the heel, it feels like you don't have any heels on whatsoever. And they were extremely comfortable. I could walk all day in these and they look, you know, nice. You could dress them up, dress them down. When I first showed these to my husband, he didn't really like them. He was like, oh, they're kind of plain. You know, he likes to see more of like the buckles and some sort of like design and whatnot. But then when I put them on, he was like, oh, those are actually really nice. And I think, you know, sometimes you want that kind of streamlined look and uh, these definitely provide that. Again, I would definitely purchase these if I could find them in like a wider calf. This next pair I've actually had for a few months now, but I did get them on Amazon just like the rest of these. I will link them below. If you use any of my links, they are affiliate links and I do get a small commission if you use them, but that does help support this channel at no extra cost to you, and I do appreciate that. So these boots, like I said, I've had for a while, and I do really like them. The heel is not too high, so they're comfortable to walk in, but I have a few problems with them, which is why um, I was prompted to even go searching for more. I think these boots may be for a taller person because they come up very high, like almost to my knee. 
And it, so it is a little bit uncomfortable, like in the back when you're bending your knee, you kind of feel it like right where the bend is. And also these were actually oversized for me. Very easy to zip up. Obviously I can get my calf in them, but I have a gap, like a pretty large gap at the top. Um, this is something that's never happened to me before. I was almost excited that it actually happened because typically everything is too tight and I can't get it up. So needless to say, I didn't go further shopping. Like I just, when I ordered them and I tried them on and they were like a little big, I was like, I'm fine with it. At least I have a pair that I can zip up and use. And so I have been using them for months. I do really like them, but I was in search of something maybe that fit a little bit better. And so, but anyways, if they're worth mentioning, like if they fit you, like if you're, if you're a little taller too, I'm five one. So if you're anything taller than me, then, and you typically can't find boots that come up tall enough, then these might be for you. Okay, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you like this type of video. Uh, it was kind of impromptu because I was looking for wide, uh, wide calf boots. And, um, and so I figured anybody who's like watching this channel might also be having those type of issues. And, uh, and it kind of was fun to film this. So let me know if you're into this kind of content and then I can make some more. Maybe we can do like a jeans try on because that's always a struggle for me too. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments below if that interests you at all. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time.